Video game development is a long process that requires skill and experience in order to do a good job of creating video games that people love and enjoy. Game development also requires software that developers and artists need to get their job done. So is Blender really good when it comes to creating video games? We can separate video game development into two parts, asset creation and assembling those assets in a game engine generally speaking. Asset creation involves modeling, sculpting, UV and wrapping, baking, texturing, rigging and animation. Number one, modeling. Modeling is probably one of the most time consuming parts of creating video games and Blender is very good at it. You can use Blender to create characters and environments which of course contain a lot of props. Blender has a lot of modifiers which are automatic operations that affect objects in a non-destructive way to gain time and to make the modeling process easier and efficient. Modeling for video games is kind of different from modeling for any other type of production because you need to take hardware processing power in account ahead of time. I mean we need to respect the limited processing power of game consoles or the average computers that will run these games. That's why we need to create low poly versions of the highly detailed models to allow us to run video games smoothly in real time. Using Blender you can model a low poly version based on the high poly you created and you will be able to make the low poly look like the polished high poly version using special maps that you can create through a process which we call baking that we will talk about later. Blender has a lot of cool modeling add-ons that have been ported to the new versions and it will allow you to take your modeling game to the next level. Among these are box cutter, hard ops and mesh machine. Number two sculpting. Sometimes we need sculpting to create more details in our high poly models, especially characters. Characters are better created using sculpting from the start because it is more intuitive and it gives more freedom since creating a character is more complicated in terms of modeling compared to the environment props. Even though sculpting in Blender is not as advanced as ZBrush which is the industry standard for sculpting, Blender is able to sculpt very well and you will generate interesting results. Number three, UV unwrapping. UV unwrapping is a very important part of creating game ready assets because a lot of processes that will come later will rely on it. If it is done well, you will get nice results and if it is done poorly, you will get bad results. Blender is very good when it comes to creating UVs for video games assets you can unwrap anything you want, like characters or props using Blender's UV unwrapping tools. You can also use some plugins that will speed up the process because it can become boring and highly repetitive very easily. Also, it consumes a lot of time and effort. Number four, baking. In baking maps, especially baking the mesh normals, which affect how light appears to reflect from the model surface, the mesh normals can be recorded. This results in a very specialized image with a RGB value based on normal vectors. Baking requires having the model UV unwrapped so the resulting image is properly fit to the model. In order to perform the baking properly for game ready assets, you need the high poly version and the low poly version placed exactly in the same position in space if we want to have perfect bake. You can do this using Blender just fine, but in game development this process is usually outsourced to another application like Substance Painter, which is an industry standard for baking and texturing game ready models. Number 5 Texturing Creating textures for characters and props in the environment is a very important part of the entire process because doing a good job here is going to amplify the result we got in previous stages and doing a poor job here is going to make things look worse overall. Using Blender you can create very good textures for your assets by painting directly on the mesh or by using external textures that you can apply on your models. Also, Blender has real-time render which allows you to see your textures in real-time applied on your model or an entire scene for that matter. Number 6. Rigging and Animation 
when it comes to rigging and animation blender can do an excellent job because it has all the tools necessary for rigging characters and doing character animation actually several short films were created with blender using blender you can create animations for characters or anything else that needs to be animated then you will export those animations to a game engine this leads us to the second part of creating a video game that is exporting the assets we created in Blender into a game engine. Blender used to have an actively developed game engine but due to some problems that developers faced with the Blender engine they abandoned it to focus on creating and developing more features on other aspects of Blender. Also one of the reasons that made the Blender engine less popular even among Blender users is the fact that there are other free to use for commercial purposes and powerful game engines like Unity and Unreal Engine. There are actually a lot of indie developers and small video game development studios using Blender to work on their games and this means that what Blender has to offer is sufficient to get the job done. Also one of the reasons why indie developers use Blender is because it is free and open source which means that they don't have to spend money on licenses that can add up to tens of thousands of dollars if you have a small team. This is simply an extra expense for small developers that they cannot afford so Blender is a great option for them plus it can do a great job so why not. In addition to that Blender is open source which means you can create your own tools if you see that this is going to help you get things done better or faster or to create something custom tailored to your specific needs. In recent years, especially with the Blender 2.8 release and beyond, medium-sized studios are starting to use Blender even though it is limited to a certain extent. I mean they use it to work on some part of the production because there are artists in the studio that prefer to use Blender or because Blender is better or faster at a particular job. Recently studios are using Blender to work on game cinematics or to create characters which show that it is being regarded as an important tool for video game development. But Blender at this point is not used when it comes to AAA video game development studios meaning it is not industry standard yet because this might take a few years depending on what direction the Blender foundation wants to take from now on. Big studios however use different software other than Blender. This will lead us to the question how can I work in a triple A video game studio if I am a Blender user? I think if you are new to game development and 3D in general you can use Blender if you are interested in it because using it you can go through all the necessary processes of creating game ready assets then when you become good enough to be hired to work on a triple A video game development studio you can use industry standard software like Maya or 3ds Max to be able to work in the industry. This does not mean you wasted your time learning Blender because for the most part the skills of a game development artist can be transferred quickly across different software meaning you can learn other 3D packages like 3ds Max or Maya compared to the years needed to learn Blender because you have become experienced with game development concepts and it is just a matter now of getting used to the tools. The takeaway from this video is yes Blender is good for game development because it has all the tools necessary or needed to create video games. What Blender has to offer now is much better because there are a lot of good features that have been added recently to make game development easier and faster and this brought the attention of game developers to it lately. But like any other tool of game development, being able to use Blender will take time, effort and patience. It might take you years to be able to use it fully to create amazing results. You can create your own games using Blender, a lot of people have done it before, or you can work with indie game developers that use Blender. Or you can work for a game studio if you are good enough but when it comes to triple A video game development it is a different challenge because you have to learn new tools and you need to acquire better and more advanced skills. I hope this video gave you a good insight to Blender and its relationship to game development and what you can do to work on video games using Blender. If you have something to add please leave it in the comment section below also give this video a like if you liked it and you can check some of our previous videos 
Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.